Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. It is just me, of course, Daniil Bettersmicki Brown. Since it's my birthday today, we decided to give you a special wish. Just me and you, a one-on-one. We have a nice conversation. Of course, I'm joking. If you're any fan of the Saints in any capacity, you'll know that our Rocket League team is going to be trying to qualify for the CA, CCA Summer Series today. So hopefully we're going to catch the action as they try to make their way through the bracket. And I'm feeling pretty confident that they might be able to pull something through. Our team has been showing a lot of energy throughout this season. And obviously, while we're still in the off season, I still think they're going to be carrying some of that forward as well. We're going to have Spoods, Christian, and Nitrix join the varsity lineup today as they try again to make it through the CCA qualifiers. But it is going to be a best of three series up until we reach the semifinals where everything is going to be best of five onwards. The top two teams will qualify into league play. Once again, making it to CCA is a huge honor for most of the schools and everybody would love for a chance to compete, not just for the money, but once again, for the glory. So I'm very excited to see what these teams are going to be bringing forward. Our first team that we're going to be playing against has changed just finished up their first match. Saints got a buy in round one. It's going to be Old Dominion University and St. Clair College already trying to bring the heat. You see Nitrix going for a beautiful shot there. He, uh, he's out here looking to prove that he is worthy of the field. The ball's going to get stolen out from Christian, but Nitrix with an excellent save. Spoods there to capitalize off of it. Trying to get it over the Christian, but it's going to get intercepted. But Christian there carrying it forward. Nitrix potentially on the front side able to take this out. Yes, he's over there in the corner but it's going to get bounced back by a blue member Spoods there off the back he's able to carry it back but it's going to get demoed out Christian there for save him and Nitrix right now the only one standing between them and a goal for Old Dominion University but they're still here and they're still fighting it's going to be a battle off the center off the wall now cutting it down bouncing off the floor taking it to the next corner Nas is going to have to battle it out with Spoods beats the 50 but can he beat over Nitrix not quite Spoods comes down the wall and takes it towards the net. It's going to get cleared out once again, but centered. This could be dangerous. There's no capitalization, and Nitrix is there to put a period at the end of that sentence, taking it out once again, but Blue is not letting them get it out. Old Dominion University, they are trying so hard to force the Saints into making some kind of mistake, some kind of uh, gap in their defense, and they keep going for these demos as well. It's very well played, a very solid strategy that seems to work against most teams, so I can't fault them for trying it out against the Saints for sure. Uh, Old Dominion taking it once again to the net but it's gonna get cleared Spoods looking to turn this into something favorable for the Saints, but Christian's there with the backup into the corner, but it's going to get stolen. Nitrix there to follow up. It's going to go towards the net, but no follow-up shot for his team. It's not going to go in, but Spoods trying to rescue it. Going to get, it's going to escape the jaws of defeat there. Christian, along with the rest of his teammates, all in this area. They're going to spread out, thankfully. They don't want to be all spread, stuck in one spot, especially in Rockley, where anything can happen in the blink of an eye. So they're going to try their best to occupy as much space as possible. It's going to be centered off the rim, but no! So close, Christian almost taking that goal for himself. A bounce off the post and launching it in himself. That would have been a beautiful play, but not Christian there to center it up for Nitrix and an excellent shot. He was where exactly where he needed to be and he was ready for that like it was foretold by the prophets of old and that's going to be the first goal on the board going the way of St. Clair College. Now is usually where I stop talking and let my co-caster talk, but once again, it's just me here today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be taking it forward once again off the kickoff. Spoods is going to try taking this one into his own hands, or own wheels, I should say. Nitrix wants to relive his former glory from that first goal. Christian here potentially to help him out, centering it off to himself, but not going to be able to finish it off. Spoods and Nitrix weren't in the position for it. Going to be taking it right back to the center. Can, no one's there to contest him. He's taking it right over, but Nas is going to steal it away at the last moment. Christian's going to get the demo, however. First one for the Saints this game. Nitrix clearing it out, preventing it from going over to their side of the field. Nas now dropping it down. Christian, once again, ready for it, but he's going to get demoed since he was stationary for so long. That's definitely a downside bit, but Spoos centering it. Nitrix ready once again. This guy is on fire. You might not have seen him throughout the season, but he's here with a point to prove that you will see more of him. Absolutely well played. Nitrix is seemingly the core of this team right now, and I am excited to see what more we can get out of him throughout the 
today. Christian and Spoods, they're playing off of him like it hasn't even been a day since they last played as a squad. And they are going full force. The Saints are looking in great form with Nitrix on their side right now. Vesh, of course, uh, in Poland right now, so he's not eligible to be playing in this series. Again, Nitrix stepping in for him. The demo as well going to come out from him. Spoods taking it forward towards the net, trying to wrangle this one, but against players of this caliber, it's never easy. He makes it look easy, however. Christian ready for that rebound, taking it up, centering it towards the post, but off into the corner. Nitrix steals it away from himself. Spoods ready for that. Can you find something here? No. He decides to play it safe. They're trying to get him set up for it, but he knows that he wants to go for it. In fact, he's going to set it up for one of his teammates now. Spoods is there. He's ready. That's going to be three now for the Saints. Nitrix once again setting things up for his team, and Spoods ready to capitalize. Such an excellent game so far for the Saints. One minute on the board. 3-0 Old Dominion University. They are going to have to find something here and answer anything that they can do to try to gain some advantage but once again with only a minute remaining to get three goals and the, the frequency of goals honestly isn't even that high while the sale oh, well hey they find one a little bit of a slippery trick there uh, I think there's a bit of confusion maybe a miscommunication some players weren't quite ready but Nas and Goat God kind of slip in there as uh, the Saints are trying to clear it and get that first one up over the Saints well hey as I was making the point that it might not be too easy for them to uh, to get things going they get one already. They just need to tie it up for get find two more. But looks like Spoos is going to widen that gap just a little bit more. Still 3-0. It might as well be as Saints round up another goal. 46 seconds on the clock. Spoos with something to prove for sure. But as we're heading into this next game, which I got to say, this one's looking to be the Saints one so far. It's a best of three series. You lose this one, you're out of the tournament. Your chance for the CCA Summer Series is gone in the wind. I know these teams are bringing all they have here tonight. So, well, it's still afternoon, so I can't be saying tonight quite yet, but I know these teams are going to be bringing all they have to try to bring it forward. But as they clear that one out, Goat God with the save, Nas is trying to get something done here. Christian not going to make it easy for him as he carries it through the air. They're kind of just playing with the ball at this point. Spoods might even go for another shot, another goal, and Joe close. He fires at Christian with the last push they needed, but let's be real, ladies and gentlemen, that one was going in. That's 1-5 to five for game one over Old Dominion University. 13 seconds on the clock. I'd be surprised if either of these teams can find a goal with how tight the defense has been so far. But as we're going in to this last 10 seconds of this match here, or 10 seconds of this game, I'm sure both of these teams are figuring out how they're going to want to be playing. Well, I stand corrected, and I am surprised indeed. We are able to find one more goal here, one to six for game one against Old Dominion. The Saints are looking very dominant and in strong form so far. Nitrix and Spoods working together to get that one over there, but once again, as we head into this next game, I'm sure both these teams are going to be figuring out how they're going to want to change their approach potentially to find more success. For the Saints, I'm sure they're going to want to be figuring out how to make their success even more one-sided, whereas Old Dominion University might be trying to figure out how they can turn this, uh, this momentum block from the Saints into some kind of an advantage for them. It was a very difficult first game for them for sure, but once again, when you are playing against St. Clair College, everything it seems a little bit harder than usual. Um, this team is definitely one of the best out there. Old Dominion University, however, showing they still have some fight in them. Spoods, Nitrix, and Christian, once again, they're just playing so well off of each other. There was very, besides that one slip up that allowed uh, Old Dominion to get a goal, I feel like they've just been playing in such strong positioning off each other, setting each other up for success. Not a lot of room for error on either of these teams, and they recognize that. So they're playing as though they can't make any mistakes uh, because realistically, you can't, even if it means you play a little less aggressively than you otherwise would like to, you still uh, want to make sure you're not overextending yourself, overexerting yourself, and giving the opponent team too many openings to try to, uh, you know, take opportunities off of your mistakes. You just can't afford to do things like that in a high stakes situation such as this one. So uh, I don't blame either of these teams for just taking a little bit more of a measured approach. But 
if history has told me anything, I feel like the Saints might be coming into this one a little bit more aggressive than they did in the first. But we're going to have to wait and see as we head into game two in this best of three match. Let's see what St. Clair College has in mind for us after this game one. Spoots already centering things up, lining it up. A fake shot coming up from Nitrix, a real one coming up from Christian. And that's not going to be a goal, but it definitely is going to be a spike in the heart rate for Old Dominion University's lineup. Christian going for the demo, and now the heartbeat is going up even more. Spoots looking for something. Oh, he misses the interception. Nas! And that's going to be a relatively open net. Thankfully, Pea Shooter is there just in case it got over. Thankfully, it's not going to either way. Nitrix getting the clear, punting it back. Now it's going to be on Christian and Spooz to clear this up. Nitrix ready to center it back for his team. Passing it back and forth between these players just to make it a little bit more favorable. And Christian with a huge save, sending it to the post. And it's going to be an air interference as they're both fighting for it. Ultimately, it's going to get sent out of Orange, but sent right back in by Blue. Go God! With the rest of the team able to turn this into a goal over St. Clair College. Looks like, ladies and gentlemen, his History is going to be changed for this game too. Unif Old Dominion University is finding their stride in the series. But I know the Saints aren't ones to take this one laying down. They're going to be getting up, dusting themselves off, and once again, swinging with the aggression. As you saw in that first few seconds of that match, they were all three already triple committing right in front of the blue net. I predicted that they're probably playing aggre more aggressively, but I didn't think it'd be this aggressively. A little bit, it's going to bite them in the butt because, again, Old Dominion is able to take that and turn it into a goal um, relatively early on in this game. But Nitrix, once again with the demo, there's that aggression I was talking about. Oh, so close to finding the shot, but a little bit mistimed by both players. And now we're seeing Spoods battling it on the wall. Christian's there for the backup, but somewhat open net. Nitrix, of course, is there to turn that into a clear with the help of Spoods. Christian now chasing the ball as Goat God takes it over to Spoods. He's going to lose a 50. Spoods takes possession and sends it right over Nas's head. It's flying straight towards the net, but Pea Shooter thankfully had the boost to get in front of it before it went into the net. Nitrix taking it off the ceiling, trying to send it straight down with a pin shot, but it's going to get stolen out before he has a chance. Spoots now looking for an opportunity to turn this into a shot, but it's not really going to present itself. It's going to be left to Nitrix to bring this one back, and he's actually able to find it. It's going to go over Pea Shooter almost, but thankfully jumps at the right moment to stop that one from going in. Nas is able to steal that shot once again from the same the aggression is palpable from this team. They definitely are trying their best to get at least one on the board so far before the gap widens even further. It would be a hard uh, position to recover from if they aren't able to find something and something soon. But Nitrix now, Spoods waiting for him at the net. Going to be taking to the air. It's almost hovering there for a bit there with that momentum transferred from the Vico. But, ooh, off the post, and it's going to get swiped away as he went for the clear. Old Dominion University, they're going to be able to shove another one in the net. And that's going to be their second goal over St. Clair College in this game, too. Hey guys, I gotta drink water sometimes. Bear with me as we head into this next uh, phase, I'll call it. Spoods and the rest of the Saints. Once again, the aggression is not relenting. Right now, they're forced to play a little bit more defensively as the ball is stuck on their side. But as soon as it gets cleared, you bet you're going to see Christian and Nitrix chasing that one down. Potentially Spoods if he's the one that clears it up. It's usually Nitrix plus one that's chasing this ball. And it seems Christian trying to make a fake little play off of the corner there. Nitrix intercepts. It's not going to be a 150, but it's going to at least neutralize. Reset to neutral, as I may say, in uh, other contexts. And Christian now... Chasing that one back, Nas is going to send it over to Spoods inadvertently, and Spoods is going to send this one out of Orange Corner. Potentially, no, Nas is going to steal it, but they are going to be ready. Nitrix is going to clear that one from the back, and Christian's up front going for a shot. He's going to find it. You don't want to leave gaps in your defense as wide as that when Christian is on the field because he is like a doorstop. He just finds gaps and wedges himself in there and takes another goal for, for St. Clair College. 
college rather over Old Dominion University as we're heading into this next one here. Kickoff Nitrix already with the aggression and the demo stealing the ball at the same time. Two birds with one stone, one ball with two boosts, and he's gonna be able to take that one back. Nitrix already on the midline, preventing it from going over to Orange Pea Shooter. Trying to intercept Nitrix, but able to succeed. Spoods and Christian fighting on that midline once again. Christian in the blue corner, but not going to be able to make anything work here. Spoods as well. Just chasing the ball, preventing it from getting back, but getting bumped into the net. In fact, actually a little bit advantageous. If there was going to be a follow-up shot. Nitrix would have been ready for that seal. One minute remaining. The Saints need to get one goal if they want to tie things up and take and have a chance at taking this game. But with the demo coming out from Pea Shooter, it looks like they are just playing full offense. They don't want to let the Saints find anything, but with a nice clear, oh, if only Spoots is a little closer there. That might have been a huge and beautiful goal, but unfortunately, Old Dominion University is playing their defense so well, it's messing with their timings now. 30 seconds remaining. Nas right in front of the Saints net, but not going to do anything too risky. Like I said, you have a lot on the line here. You don't want to do anything unnecessary. Nas is going to clear that one out of blue net. Spoods in the air, trying to find a way to turn this into a shot. Pinch shot, no, but Nitrix tries to turn that into something. It's not going to work out either way. Going to go into orange corner. Nas is trying to clear that one out, but no, it's not going to work. Saints, 10 seconds off the clock. Can you find a goal in time? It's going over to mid corner. Christian. Oh, it's not going to work for them. Nitrix, it's in the air. Can you make something work here? So close, but no, it's going to get slammed to the ground. That's 2-1. Old Dominion University, like I said, they have fight in them. They got quite the score gap the Saints had over them in the first game. But here, a lot closer, and the Saints weren't able to work their magic to turn this one into a one-sided victory. Old Dominion University, they are able to really bring things back. And uh, hopefully the Saints can pull it together for this next and final game in this matchup. St. Clair College against Old Dominion University. The stakes are rising. This is the first match that we're seeing today. And it's already such a good series. This team, both of these teams, don't want to give either of these teams an inch because they know, especially with the speeds in Rocket League, that can very quickly turn into a mile. The acceleration rate is probably like uh, 0 to 100 in 0.2 seconds. I'd estimate with all these boosts flying around and aerodynamics but as we're heading into game three I can only f wait and see what these teams are going to be bringing for us in store uh, as we saw in that first game the uh, aggression started slow but really ramped up in that second one I feel like both teams are going at 100% at all points in time I feel like very few schools very few teams feel comfortable playing truly truly defensively um, and the Saints I think they're very good at it when they choose to but they always opt to be aggressive uh, even in their defense their uh, defense is looking to try try to steal and uh, try to turn things into shots, but a very great clear from Nitrix playing that defense, like I said, so well. Christian ready for that shot, but Nas comes around the corner out of nowhere, turns that into a save. Christian on the ground with Nitrix ready to stop that one from rolling in. Pea Shooter waiting for his time, waiting for that ball to come towards him, and he's gonna tip it off. Not gonna get too much off of that, but Goat God is gonna be able to try and make something work off of it. Spoods is gonna intercept that one, pinch it off the ground, make it bounce into the corner. It's gonna get cleared, Goat God, but Christian's ready for it. Bringing it back, Nitrix also there. If he can get this centered up, it could be a very clean shot for either of his teammates, but it's gonna get intercepted once again. Spoods passing it up. It's going to be going to the corner. Spoods hopefully going to try to center things up for Nitrix once again. But no, it's going to get intercepted once more. Christian chasing the ball, preventing Pea Shooter from getting at a good position. Spoods ready in his net once more. Just playing patiently, waiting for his team to get in position before he goes for the clear. And once they do go for it, now it's looking very good for the Saints. But <laughs> just as good as it was looking, it quickly turns into a nightmare scenario as Old Dominion steals it away and turns it into a beautiful shot. The Saints are down one once again, and we're only, th uh, we're only three minutes remaining in game one here. Or sorry, game three of this best of three series. Both of these teams might be getting a little nervous as uh, the, rea the reality is closing in on them. They might be 
they might be recognizing that their hopes of qualifying for CCA really does rest on this Game 3 scenario here, and the Saints don't want to let that affect them too much. They want to be playing with the fire in their belly, but they don't want it to let it burn them. They don't want to let it consume them as they're trying to get a little bit closer here, trying to round things off a little bit more. Three minutes remaining. Christian over on blue side, but not going to be anyone to follow up off of that attempted clear. Spoods is there. Nitrix is trying to pass it down to him, but Pichu is going to take that one back. Nitrix intercepts, or Christian rather, intercepts that uh, attempt at a clear for uh, Old Dominion University. Spoods setting it up. Getting it close, pinching it off of the post, but it's not going to go the angle that I think he was wanting it to go, allowing Christian to make the shot. It's going to go a little bit too fast, a little bit too overhead. Spoods ready for something here with the work from Christian. Team up. The tactics, the goals, and the strategies all working together to create a symphony of coordination. Very excellently played by the two of them there. Nitrix was even there just in case things didn't go their way. They were all inning, fully committing on those attempted shots. And now we're going into this next kickoff. Spoods already with the breakaway, making this 2-1 in the blink of an eye. Just as Old Dominion University thought they might have had this one figured out over the Saints, they come back with a 1-2 punch. Lightning speed, two minutes, 18 seconds remain for Old Dominion University to try to tie this one up. They still got plenty of time to work with, but I feel like now the Saints are just gonna keep ramping things up. If they can find a follow-up goal that quickly with that much confidence, I have no reason to believe that they're gonna try stopping anytime soon. And just like that, oh, that almost was a goal for Old Dominion. Off the post, Nost and uh, Pea Shooter trying to make that one work, but the defense, once again from the Saints, they're just so fiery about it. Another demo coming out for Old Dominion. Nas steals that one away from Spoods. Gokad trying to turn this into a shot, but Nas is there as well. But oh, it goes off the corner of the post. A heartbreaker for sure. And another demo going out from uh, Old Dominion University. Nitrix in the net, ready for a revenge demo coming out from Christian. They are tired from the bullying, and they are starting to defend themselves. Now, as Nas flicks that one up, Pea Shooter flicks it down, but it's gonna get hovered up by the Saints, clipping that one. Momentum's gonna get transferred to the air. Nitrix, almost turning that to a goal, but no, gonna get demoed out. No follow-ups either. And then the, all of Old Dominion University was there to cradle that one away from their net. Nas is gonna intercept the, try to, the setup for Nitrix. Spoods as well, midfield. No one's in net, unfortunately. And that's gonna mean that Goat God and that perfect setup is gonna be able to turn that into a goal. We are one minute on the clock. Both teams tied up two to two. Oh man, they really do wanna make this a close and scary game as we're seeing so far. This could be going into an overtime loser of this. They're not out of the tournament. They will be sent to the lower bracket, but of course that means that your run is gonna get that much more difficult and that much more scary. About 50 seconds now, Christian and the rest of the Saints, it's like doing a surgery. They have to be precise and they have to be confident in every stroke they make. They have to try to paint the perfect picture on their patient and they find it. This is the kind of surgery that you wouldn't want to have done on you because it's a butchering so far. Saints able to turn that into a very clean goal. 38 seconds on the clock for Old Dominion University to find an answer. Can they make this one work? Christian and Spoods. Well, now it's just Christian after Spoods gets turned into a pile of ash. Nitrix ready in blue corner, but gonna get cleared out ultimately. Spoods back from the brink of extinction is gonna be able to clear that one out. Nitrix is battling one of Old Dominions in their net. Might be holding them there. Could still be there. No, broke free eventually. Nitrix setting that one up for uh, Nitrix himself. And uh, he's gonna find a demo. Christian with an interception turned into a goal just to really make the statement clear. The Saints are gonna overcome that first early game, the second early game 
lead turned into a loss for them in game two, and then it looked to be the same thing in this game three. Old Dominion finding the first goal, but Saints uh, doing the one-two punch to make it one to two, and then tying it up once again, and immediately bringing it back to a two to four situation, widening the gap even more. Saints are gonna advance in this bracket. Old Dominion University, even if they find a goal here, they still would need one more to take it back, but with no time on the clock. In fact, it's gonna be Saints taking the opportunity to get even one more goal on the board. And that's going to be your game three, ladies and gentlemen. St. Clair College triumphs over Old Dominion University. They're sent to the lower bracket. St. Clair College advancing on in the upper bracket. Their odds are looking good as they inch ever closer to making the qualifier for CCA Summer Series. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an excellent first match. And as we're getting ready for match two, we're going to send it to a quick break. But don't go anywhere. We're going to have plenty more action like that, hopefully, coming up through the rest of the day. We'll see you very soon.